Hello everybody and welcome back for episode 2 of our Crystal Catacombs Let's Play. Last time did not go particularly well, but I'm hoping, with a little bit of luck, maybe we can make a better attempt at going through the Frost World. Uh, I do want to thank anybody that watched the first episode. Uh, it is a pretty nice start, it seems like people are enjoying this, so I have a uh, pretty strong desire to play quite a bit of this game and hopefully you'll stick along with me for it to see what kind of crazy powers and things we can unlock. Uh, also, things are going to start to change a little bit for us, and I just randomly decided to turn the map on. Uh, but people <laughs> are going to start to see things change a bit once we start to get through the first area uh, and start to get a little bit of progress under our belts. Uh, it's going to definitely make things a little bit more interesting going forward. And, uh, you know, I think things are going to get a snowball effect to them. It's going to be a tough beginning, but once we get things going, hopefully that momentum will continue, because there's not really a way that I can screw it up too, too much. Alright. One enemy killed. You should keep track. Keep a kill count as we go. Two enemies killed. You don't really need to do that. There's really no reason for that at all. Uh, apparently we're getting a lot of these bugs that shoot laser beams at us, or whatever these are. Uh, not my favorite enemies. They actually can be a little bit daunting because they tend to shoot at a fa uh, faster pace than I tend to be able to repel them or get in the way of them to start beating them up with my sword. But we shall see. Maybe we'll get a lucky break and run into something that's going to give me a big attack bonus right early uh, at the beginning of the run. Not that that's something I'm necessarily expecting, but it would be nice. Uh, especially since there are a few different types of weapons, and all of which I have not seen yet, other than just some projectile-based ones uh, that I've randomly run into from drops. And I, I feel like there can be any amount of treasure chests. Uh, one of the things that I'm sort of curious about, and I haven't really seen a lot of information or, you know, evidence as to exactly how all this stuff works, uh, is that it seemed like at first I was thinking, well, there's a treasure room, sort of like Isaac, right? So, like, just one chance to get a good thing each floor. But then I've run into a couple of floors that had more than one thing, so... We got an Eye of Zai. I think that's the thing that lets me reveal the map. That is probably not necessary for me today. Uh, certainly not here, of all places. A place where I'm not really having much difficulty yet anyway. Um, I imagine that would be useful if maybe your time has run out and you need to hurry up and get onto the exit. Otherwise, you're going to end up getting whatever happens to you when you, your time runs out. I honestly don't know. So we've opened up a checkpoint or a teleport point. Where are we on the map right now? Uh, okay, so we need to do some exploring southerly, southerly, southern, southerly. Uh, key for southerly, and we will look for that key. That guy is rocking my butt off. I don't like that, but thankfully he dropped a little bit of HP in the form of a red crystal, and that is one of the best drops that you could find in the whole game, aside from maybe beautiful treasures and magical diamonds, which I'm not sure that there are many of those uh, second one. Uh, in particular, but we do have to kill all of these enemies in case one of them's gonna have the key. Watch out. Oh, yeah, you can totally bait these guys into hitting each other, which is something that I should be doing a little bit more often. What I would like to do right now, though, is maybe drop on this guy. Get the drop on him, because, you know, the unfortunate thing is you can't, like, duck under these bolts as much as I would love to. It kind of seems like what's designed to happen with them, like the height that they seem off the ground seems like you should be able to just be able to go right underneath them. Uh, and without a shield or anything, it's like basically you have to either jump them or take them on the chin. And I'm not really about to do that if I can avoid it, so I'll do my best to jump them, but, you know, not always the best luck with that. Uh, what would be great is if I could not lose a bunch of lives at the beginning of this run and maybe just, you know, hang on to those lives for a boss or something actually difficult instead of losing it to some mobs. Uh, there is a little bit of an element of, like, where you can get into the zone, uh, auto zone, which is actually a little bit like Spelunky when you're trying to play through, and you find that all of a sudden, well, things that you used to be getting stuck on, like, you know, whipping arrow traps or uh, maybe, you know, remembering not to whip pots when you're standing on top of them, things like that start to become a little bit more clear, and you maybe won't make quite as many of those stupid mistakes after you've played this game enough times in a row. So I have fallen into that zone one or two times so far, uh, off camera, so I like to replicate that sort of success in the series as often as possible. And I think I actually cleared out this whole map, not that it necessarily matters at all, but I do want to make sure I catch all the treasure I can if possible. So that's floor one uh, out of a possible five of the ice world. Uh, again, there will be a boss at level three, so that's something to keep in mind. I want to be sure that I have the opportunity to take out that boss if at all possible, so I want to make sure I stack good items early on and then hopefully continue to snowball from there. 
Uh, so it looks like some bats in this canal. It's a, a difficult place to be. Uh, having some bats in your canal, you never want that. Uh, because they can attack from basically right up above you. And, well, although you can hit them slightly from above, it's not really the most ideal way to do things. And I took a bunch of stupid damage there. I should have really run away uh, and been a little bit more methodical about my approach to that enemy. Uh, what do we have here? Anything down below? Looks like a land shark. This guy can be a problem. Yeah, all right. If I had a little bit more on my attack power, I would have been able to one-shot him, which is kind of what I was counting on having happen. But it did not, so I ended up taking another hit of damage. I don't have any HP pots or anything like that, so hopefully I can run into a bat that might drop a little bit of HP in the form of a crystal. That was not it. Uh, as the game very often seems to like to troll me with its balance, uh, I don't, I don't want to say issues because it's probably not an issue, but tends to really favor giving me MP a lot of the time, and it's probably just bad luck. But I really could use uh, MP about 0% of the time when I could use HP just about all of the percent of the time. So if we could just, like, sort that out, that would be fantastic. Oh god! Oh, slippery slopes did not treat me well. That was a really dumb way to die. I totally could have prevented that. I saw the bats there. I chose to rush in, and then the lack of friction uh, led to me sliding to, the, uh, to my death, basically. Oh, well, we've got some fast treasure, which is, I guess, kind of nice. Oh, great, that's the HP jewel that I was looking for a second ago that did not happen. All right, why don't we lure these guys down here? They have, like, a certain aggro radius that if you walk back outside of, uh, you're not going to end up with uh, having them chase you, so you got to keep that in mind. You don't want to get too far away. And we did get our bonus point, so let's drop that in. Where do you think I'm going to put it? Attack power. It's the only reasonable place, I think, as far as I can tell. You know, having HP is nice as well, but the... The extra ability to kill dudes fast, way, way better, in my opinion, anyway. Maybe I'd have a different strategy if I started in a different area. Why does ducking not help me ever? It seems like no matter what I do, ducking is just instantly getting me hit no matter what. All right, uh, if I had a projectile, I'd probably use that right now. I don't. But I was able to beat the snot out of that guy real fast, and we did get a health gem, so that's neat. Now, I feel like I kind of got ripped off on this treasure room today, uh, or this single instance of a treasure chest, because it dropped HP, which, again, I didn't really need, uh, and also kind of denied me of getting actual treasure in that case, too. And this gem, of course, or this gold gem or whatever jewel is going to be stuck in this wall, so I can't actually get the benefit from that, unfortunately. The game is trolling me again in this case. Let's get these bats upstairs and into our belfry so we can knock the junk out of them and get a little bit extra gold, I guess. All right, a little bit of a slide down. That guy took it on the chin like a champ. And we've unlocked the path to the next room. Let's see what's in this treasure chest here. Oh, what is this? An extra life, perhaps? I think that is indeed what that is. So we've got another life. We are now back at three again, which is good news for us. Might actually be a huge uh, advantage because that means another life's worth of farming, uh, which is kind of a big deal, actually. Okay, walk a little bit further, please. There we go. Any more tricks and traps on our way over to this treacherous destination? I'm not sure where we're actually going. I guess I'm just looking for more treasures. And what's actually going to happen is I'm probably just going to take a bunch more damage instead of getting treasures. Oh, wait, what is this over here? That might not be anything. Kind of looks... Oh, that's probably the treasure chest I first opened when I walked in here. Uh, there's also still some rooms up and above to the right, so let's see what's up with that. Let's get these bats out of here. Just politely wait for them to work their way down. This game is like a really enjoyable game to Let's Play, I think. It's going to be a really fun thing, because it's a casual kind of game. It's like, it's difficult, but I also think it provides a lot of the entertainment right in itself, just for being what it is. It's a pretty game to look at. It sounds great. It just is easy to play and enjoy, and doesn't require all that much uh, crazy amounts of strategy. You just sort of deal with things on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And as long as you have some sort of, like, an overarching strategy, whether that be, you know, learn a little bit from each mistake, try not to get hit, any of that stuff, maybe look for some good items, things should hopefully work themselves out in the end. Well, that was MP again. Oh, my goodness. Maybe there's a way I can tell the difference. Maybe there's chests that are, like, strictly for getting MP and, and HP out of, and other ones are more about getting weapons. We'll see, I guess. I'll try and look for the, the signs, if there are signs of any kind of differences between them. I think that chest looked identical, though. Ugh, stupid thing shooting points at me. I could put a point into uh, defense up, but I feel like that would just be wasting that point when I could just be hitting and one-shotting more enemies. 
Because once we get to some of these harder zones, it's like, if I don't have the attack power, I'm not going to stand a freaking chance. Uh, no matter what's going on, really. So it looks like I've pretty much cleared out the floor. The fastest way is probably let's just go into the room directly to our left and teleport to the exit. Then we should have a straight shot uh, to floor 3, which is where we want to be. I really like that teleporting animation. <laughs> Something about flashing rainbow pictures is just like totally my thing, I don't know. Something about- I think it's the Hyper Beam from Super Metroid always set me off to believing that that was the coolest way to do the most damage. Think about the, like, the idealization of light spectra turned into a laser beam just seems awesome to me. And the fact that it, like, oscillates on its own is pretty sweet, too. So, you know, this game is kind of full of, like, oscillating rainbow lights, so it's, you know, pretty cool stuff. Another level up. Oh god, I've fallen a little further than I expected there. Again, very glad that this guy does not take fall damage. Uh, otherwise, this would end up a little bit too much like Tower Climb in a way that I wouldn't want. But right now, I think it's just the way I do want. So let's, let's keep capitalizing on that stuff, shall we? Let's get these bats up here. Let's get them to drop a little HP. No luck. Okay. Yeah, if you were wondering about the friction, like, just to test it out, that's how long it takes for me to turn around. So that's a pretty long time. You really want that friction. If only I could have spike shoes, but I can't. You know, you just can't have everything. You can't take it with you. This is an awful spot to fight an enemy, and I just took a ton of damage there, unfortunately. I wonder if I... I might have forgotten to ever mention this, but one of the things that crossed my mind... Oh, I've got to get that crystal. Oh god, did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Whew. One of the things that crossed my mind when I was doing my Indie Impressions video, and I think I actually just never said it, uh, was that this game reminds me quite a bit of Adventure Time, which is awesome. Like, I just absolutely love that. And I kind of wish that there was an Adventure Time, uh, you know, Finn skin for this. I mean, the character sort of seems like a Finn-style character, like an adventurer with a great sense of, uh, you know, desire to find treasure and mysteriousness and crazy magic and all of that kind of stuff. Okay, we've already found the Demon Door to get to the next area. I'm gonna come back to that because I kind of want to unlock a little bit more on this area first before we move on and hopefully find a little bit more health because right now I'm already looking to be in slightly dire straits if I could grab some cool treasure out of this though okay we got a rocket launcher with 10 rockets uh, that's a pretty effective projectile weapon might come in great handy if we have to fight a boss which we hopefully will very soon got a couple of teleporters set up I should be able to make my way around this area pretty quickly and bam more bats bite the big one. Uh, let's take a quick look at our map here, see where we are, uh, we are at. We need to head up and to the left and see what's still up in the darkness and seclusion that has been waiting up here. A couple more bats. I would say they never hurt anyone, but they have hurt me a few times. As long as they don't break my heart, that's all I'm worried about. And by break my heart, I mean finish me off. I think we're going to use a rocket launcher on this lady. Uh, just because she's kind of a pain in the butt a lot of the time. The rocket launcher is surprisingly weak for rockets. Also, I think if you fire them too fast, or if you fire them at a target that's slightly too far away, it just doesn't hit. I don't know what just happened there. Maybe that's a bug. But that did not do anything. Alright, that did 20 damage. Yeah, this is certainly like a slightly not that great weapon. It doesn't seem to do as much as I would have hoped. Uh, it's great to be able to do some projectile damage, but that is a very small amount of projectile damage per capita and really doesn't seem to do what I need it to do. Also, doesn't seem to hit consistently, so... Anyway, I'll keep it on the back burner. I guess we're not going to be using it on a boss after all. Ended up using all of my rockets on that one lady who didn't take damage from most of them. And I think that might be that whole map already. These maps seem awfully small compared to some that I've seen, and also I can't seem to scroll left right now for some reason. Is that? Oh, there we go. Alright, so let's uh, we'll walk slowly to the left, and then we'll head back to the demon door. There is one room that looked like it was not completely filled out yet. And in the event that I do die, it's not all bad. Uh, then I'll just be able to restart with full health again. And if it's in this floor, which it's very likely not going to be, it's very likely going to be on the boss, uh, then I'll have another opportunity to scour for some more loot. Which, uh, you know, it's the, the risk-reward system working out pretty well. I think it's a nice balancing mechanism. Mechanism. Alright, so I can go down and to the left this way. And all that's here is a land shark. Alright, so I guess I'm not too concerned about fighting this guy. But I will anyway. Because I can one-shot him, and that's not too big of a deal. 
Alright, he's gonna shoot lasers. I have not figured out quite what the timing is on his lasers yet, which is why I probably should have gone in and hit him right away. Now he's gonna try and shoot me through this... Yep, alright. Cool, cool. I guess we'll just go in, because what else am I gonna do? Saving. And let's fight this angry gorilla type character. Okay, gotta remember, this is like Mega Man X. I need to remember to jump when he jumps. I did this last time, too. It's pretty sad. I even thought about it before he landed, and just my reactions were too consumed by me wanting to hit him with my sword. So, uh, let's see. Maybe this time we'll do it. Okay, jump! Now I can hit him once, twice, and then he's gonna hit me with that. He's gonna turn red already, that's crazy. And stomp! Oh, he stomps twice now. Alright, jump, but I killed him already. Excellent. Now we get to see something new. We get a green crystal, and the green crystal lets me choose from three different things. We get spread shot, launches four projectiles that diagonally fan out. Uh, what does that say? Hither charm? Pulls all enemy drops towards Vassal. That's actually pretty useful, but I kind of wish that was a little bit in effect all the time. And Rex. Summon Rex to aid in battle death from above. I would certainly prefer a passive style weapon or improvement. Um, what do I prefer? I think I'm going to try Spread Shot just because I've never really had something like that that's more of like a magic based attack just to see what it's like. I'm pretty sure it's a magic based attack anyway. Let's see. Oh, is this a one shot deal? No. No, that's not a one shot deal. I'm pretty sure it's not anyway. Uh, we'll put. Hang on. Where... I think I want this on B and this on Y. Alright. And let's just see what this does in the comfort of our own safe area here. Yeah, alright, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna try and use that only when I need to. And I'm gonna use another attack point here just to make myself a bit more useful. You're probably wondering, like, how come I don't put any... Po oh god, no ducking does not help ever! Really seems that way. Um, you're probably wondering why I don't try putting some points in other things. I have tried it off-camera. Uh, you know, putting in an HP is great, but, like, if you can't deal enough damage to kill things quickly, it's not gonna matter how quickly you can hit them. Uh, you're still gonna take a bunch of damage unless you're really good at dodging just about everything. Alright, 25 damage, not terrible. Uh, putting it into MP feels a little foolish, especially when most things are not MP-based uh, in terms of their attack. Uh, and then defense, well, that could actually be helpful. I just haven't really tried it before. Too much effect. Uh, I mean, just the concept of, like, let's just not take damage, and what's the best way not to take damage? It's to kill stuff before it can kill you, right? So I feel like there might be some balancing issues in those uh, four categories that maybe one of them is just clearly the best choice. I don't 100% know that, but it feels that way to me anyway. And of course, this floor, every single enemy is going to drop 100 health shards. I wish that would have happened at some of the previous floors, but I guess you can't have everything. Alright, so up we go. Uh, this guy's going to be a pain in the butt. Let's see if we can take him out by projectile, and we could, in fact. I've got 58 coins, and no shops in sight, as far as I can tell. Uh, shops seem to be rather rare, unless I'm missing something. Maybe there's, like, secret areas in the floors, but I haven't found them yet, if there are such things. Uh, and if there are such things, I really want to find out about them soon, because I'd be wasting a lot of my potential not going to them. Alright, that guy just barely died in time, but I still have full health, so that's good. That's definitely going to hit me. I get a level up, though, so that kind of cancels that out in my mind. Uh, not that it actually did, just feels like it did. Oh, that's actually a shop over there on the right. You see the Super Famcom uh, icons, or the button triangle thing, or the button diagonal pattern diamond? Diamond pattern, that's what that's called. Uh, yeah, I just got to figure out how to get over to it, which is probably going to be over on the right side of things. Let's not have her patrol back over to the left. That would be probably preferable. Uh, also, what's up with her arms? They're like kind of slinky arms. Do you notice that? They seem to just sort of undulate a little bit. All right, she's got the key. Not surprised. All right, we took her out as well. Let's grab another health shard. And what do we have to choose from here? Uh, we Well, we can only afford the eye, and that's the thing I've got already. So I guess we're not doing that unless I accidentally jump into it and buy it. And I'd prefer not to. Uh, see, this is one of those tricky spots here, because I'm not sure how do I not take damage. I don't have a downward striking attack, so I guess that's how. I need to just get out of the way. Uh, please stop stunlocking me. That was garbage. 
I couldn't jump for some reason. I was just stuck taking shots by that guy. Alright, well that just basically ruined this life. Uh, unless one of these bats wants to drop a bunch of health for me, that's really, really unfortunate and kind of frustrating. That, by all intents, that seemed like things were going pretty well until that happened. But that's how quickly things can turn around. You gotta be, you know, ready for everything, I suppose. We do have enough kind of uh, easy-to-kill fodder here that maybe, though, we might be able to recover. And that was entirely dependent on that dude going out in one shot, and thankfully he did cooperate with that. What's going on down below here? I think this is going to loop us back around to the opening room. Uh, yeah, so we just have another area up above and to the right to check out. And I guess that's a teleporter over there on the right. I can't decide if it's useful or not that the game has sort of like a little alarm sound when you're running out of health. I mean, I guess it's useful if you don't really pay attention to your life, but I don't really have that trouble too much. I'd almost just rather, that, if anything, it didn't make a sound but blinked every now and then. Because uh, little subtle changes like that I tend to pick up in my peripheral vision a lot more. Uh, and it's just not really as annoying hearing a little bit beep every now and then. Not that it's like the most annoying sound. But some people are more sensitive to alarmy sounds than others, I suppose. Maybe that could be a thing you could turn on or off in the options menu. It would be kind of nice. Alright, come on down, Bat. Let's do this. I do have that slight little bit of overhang strike, or overhead strike. And another crazy angry lady. Uh, this could be my death if I don't time that right. Thankfully, I pulled it off. Oh, we've got more treasure up here, but this guy... This guy's, uh, not my friend at all, god bats! Neither of them dropped health. No, none of these want to drop health anymore. Oh, well, the chest dropped the smallest amount of health uh, that the humankind has ever known, and I just ran out of magic trying to hit that man, so I guess we're kind of in a bad way right now. Uh, he's gonna pick up on my existence, probably, and I imagine he's gonna hit me with his axe. Yeah, get out of there! Oh god. He'll go back to normal if I can... Yeah, there we go. Barely got to him in time there. And no more health, so I guess we're just kind of screwed on this floor. Uh, but, well, you have the key, right? So I should be able to just leave. Uh, have I found the exit, though? Maybe I haven't. Oh, is that it over on the left? Okay, let's, uh, I guess we'll teleport somewhere. There is a teleport chamber down underneath me. It looks like the floor here is getting a little bit more complicated and complex, so... I'm gonna be careful about how I proceed. I think the timing of what one episode of this is going to be is going to work out just about perfectly. should probably avoid enemies, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I was just thinking, like, I usually like to keep around, like, half an hour long Let's Play episodes, uh, whenever I can help it anyway, unless things go particularly well. So I think that might be just about the amount of time that is required to do a uh, full, you know, five-area exploration of one of these areas. Or five-floor, I guess is the way to say it. Uh, so we want to go straight up above, and I think to our left should hopefully get us there. Look how pretty that background is, too. And so nicely uh, joined with the, the background music, too. Very tranquil, lovely music. Alright, a little bit more, and that probably is our way out, yeah. Should be able to kill this ground shark thing just through there. And maybe I just don't care what... Yeah, alright. I want to get this treasure, but I don't think I really care how much uh, health I go through with. Invisibility potion. I was really kind of hoping that maybe that was going to be an HP uh, pot, but no... S oh god! Laser man! Oh, I barely lived. That genuinely scared the junk out of me. I did not expect him to be right there. Even though they have a little tell sign of when they exist, uh, I just did not see it. And I also thought it was going to be my death, and then I was going to lose this whole floor uh, worth of progress. So let's just go through the door. Uh, keep moving. We are about as close to dead as can possibly be. And why would I want an invisibility potion? Enemies will not attack until provoked. I guess I could use that to sort of navigate through to maybe find the treasure. Uh, if I need a little bit of boost, like I do kind of right now, actually. Just in case it happens to be something that can heal me. I wonder if there's like an ability that gives you a downward strike somewhere in this game. That would be pretty cool. Alright, MP. I guess that's something. Oh god, that goes forever. I thought there was, like, a distance on it. Let's see if we can not trigger that again, and if I do, I might not be able to get out of the way in time. 
Let's get these bats over here. The bats are not going to get me. I know they've gotten people in the past. The bats, the bats, the bats are not going to get me. There we go. Nothing. All right. So how am I going to take out this laser man? I'm going to have to take a dive over on this wall here and not break my jump. All right, good enough. It's a little bit tricky sometimes trying to navigate through these ice blocks and also, uh, you know, maintain the slide and also hit the dudes I need to hit without taking damage in return. Is it safe on one side of this? I think it might be. Yep. All right, I should be able to just go grab this treasure. I don't think this guy can hit me. Yeah, that block blocks the shot. Yes, it's health. My goodness, that's fantastic. All right, he does three at a time, and then he's a one-shot after that. Um, I am about halfway through getting another bonus point to put on my attributes. I'm considering just putting yet another attack point in, but I also am kind of considering maybe going for some HP. Uh, I think it's going to refill all of my health either way. There we go. We used a little bit of retribution... Retributory, I was going to say. That is not a thing as far as I'm aware. Um, but basically hit him with magic is what I was trying to say in retaliation. Alright. Lots of projectile enemies spamming here. I don't like that. Should be able to get this guy. And a little bit more MP is great. Oh, did not hit that guy at all. Let him fire... Oh, it didn't jump at the right moment. Need that longer invis uh, invincibility frame moment between hits. I think would be absolutely fantastic. There we go. Level up. Oh, still didn't quite make it. I thought we had a bonus point on that one. Still one more. Lots of bats, though. I do appreciate all these bats. Nice, easy enemies to kill. Chance to drop stuff. A little bit of extra XP. Really, what's not to like? As long as you can see them coming, everything's good. Alright, can't really jump the projectiles, so just kind of had to charge him there, which is not good at all. Uh, probably should have used my magic ability a little bit. Also, what's up with the sword taking 10 million years to level up? Oh god, I forgot about this guy. That's a really bad spot. I don't know how I'm even going to attack this dude. I can't stand on top of him. I'm going to get stunlocked. I've got to jump over to him. Uh, maybe do a little bit of this. Go down below. Oh, I got a little extra health. And now I've got to do a Mega Man X uh, triangle jump to get back around this spot, which is maybe not possible without double jump right now. Uh, character movement is a little bit clunch clunky, so it's uh, not always the easiest, but it was possible, actually. And here's our treasure room. What do we have? Oh, God, what is that? Oh, it's Joy Boy. Okay, I've had it before. And there's a very strange, mysterious laser room underneath. I'm very excited to see what this might be. I think I have a feeling it's the final boss room, though. Oh, God, don't get me stuck in all the bats. Why would you do that? Have I not seen this before? This actually is uh, a little bit different from what I remember it looking like. I thought I made it to this one other time. Well, I still haven't gotten the key, so that's probably why nothing's going on in here. That is a really pretty room, though. I like it quite a bit. I wish there was a whole area designed to look like that. Well, maybe there is. Maybe the final area looks like that. Okay, get... Yep, get out of there. Let's just fight them on even ground, where I don't have to worry about slipping around at all. More bats. All right, I guess we'll be slipping a bit more. Get that MP. And onward, what do we have to our left? Another teleporter room, looks like another axe man up above. This guy has laser beams for me. I'm try and time between his attacks. This guy is always a bit mysterious. I don't know what his deal is. He seems awfully scary, like he's a mini-boss or something. Yeah, he doesn't even notice me some of the time when you're walking up behind him. I guess I go for a stealth kill. Uh, and if I can kill this one more enemy... Oh god. There we go. I got a power point. I can put that into HP, and I'll refill my whole health bar as far as I know. I think that's worth doing. Oh, it didn't refill it! That's bots. I really thought it did. My mistake. Oh, wait. This is the final area room, so what on earth was that other room, then? Wow, now I'm intrigued. I wonder if there's, like, some special reason you need to go to that room. Maybe there's, like, a secret or something there. You know, you never see one of these bats just carrying the key, really, it seems. 
Went for the double strike. I already had him dead with the magic, but I guess I wanted to hit him with his uh, sword as well. Yeah, they certainly keep me stocked up on MP. Uh, as much as I'd appreciate all of the MP that I have, it's like, you know, I could use the health a little bit more. But beggars can't be choosers. I'll take one or the other. She might have this key. Nope, but she does have some health. And maybe it's you? Nope, but she does have some MP. Alright, how many more rooms are even left now? I feel like I must have covered most of this place. I guess this way is the next way to go. Let's look at the map. Oh, I somehow missed the whole middle. Oh, and the top. There's a huge amount of stuff still to see yet. And I'm actually running a little bit low on time, which is worrisome. Oh, there's the key. And some health, so I'm kind of thinking maybe let's just move on. .org. I'm not sure I really want to hang out here much longer, especially with the hourglass looking quite that empty. Oh, right, I have to fight the demon door. Why did I just forget that? I just thought I was going to wander right in. That is not how things work in this world. Alright, jump up the wall. For some reason I have trouble with uh, going through that jump every time. Alright, so this is level 5. We're going to fight a harder boss. I haven't beaten any of these bosses yet, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this. Very cool-looking dude. Uh, I have a feeling I'm only going to be able to hurt him by shooting him or hitting him in his eye. And it's kind of difficult to land where I need to hit him with, or to get the proper orientation. What is he going to do now? It's going to be bad, whatever it is. He's just standing still. Those explode. I'm not a fan. And I don't have any healing. Yeah, this is kind of awful to attack. <laughs> Try to use a little MP there, didn't quite hit. This guy reminds me a lot of Fantoon from Super Meat, or Super Meat Boy, Super Metroid. Alright, I think I'm safe right here, yep. I gotta do like a wall jump and then I get hit every single time. This is where you could see having like a projectile based attack would put you at a pretty severe advantage. Um, is this re repli uh, rep replicable? Holy crap. I can't English. Yeah, it looks like I'm pretty much safe to stand right there every single time. Oh, he's turned red. That's a little frightening. Alright, whatever. You hang out. I'll just go back to my same spot again. Now, these might explode larger. Nope. Okay, we're still good. And he seems to have changed positions. Maybe he's going to teleport around a bit more. That's going to make my life miserable. Oh, two, th Oh god, he's got projectiles. That killed me. Oh no, I was going to win. I was probably only one or two hits away from killing him. Alright, I don't know how many more level or lives I've got left. I'm a little concerned, though. I've got one, so that means I've got two. I know, I know. Uh, probably don't take damage immediately. That would be a bad idea, right? I kind of have this down already, which is kind of amazing. Not too complicated of a pattern, really. He throws his bombs, stands in one spot. I can kind of stand up on top of this and hit him a couple of times. And he's going to waver around for a minute. He's already red, so that's a big improvement. And I have full MP. Uh, now he's going to drop bombs from the left this time. I hope that doesn't change up where I can stand. No, it seems to hit the same spots every single time. And now he's going to teleport around, I have a feeling. And I'm not going to be able to reach him in time to hit him. Oh, I did actually hit him there. I just want to make sure I can get back to my safe spot. Oh god, they're going to explode it on me. Oh no. That is really, tr very tricky. Okay, magic spam... At least I can say I tried, right? Alright, I've used up all my magic. He's gonna do more bombs. They... Okay, wow, that's about as close as I can get. One more. Oh, I thought I had him there. Oh no, random projectile spam. I think I'm safe. Oh, he's moving around too much. One more. Yeah! Ah, oh, that feels good. Ice Fortress defeated, and I get a blue heart, which refilled everything. That's awesome. What did I get? A Charge Buster, Charge and Release, Powerful Blast of Focus Energy, Holy Relic, MP Gradually Regenerates, or a Jetpack. I know the Jetpack's kind of garbage. Fuel is limited. Uh, 
These two both sound pretty cool. I already have a projectile, so I'm going to go with MP Regenerates. That way I can continuously use it, perhaps, and hope that this serves me well in our future escapades in the Crystal Catacomb. So there we go, we've blue-hearted the Ice Fortress, which I am super psyched about. I have not beaten an area yet, and now I have, so I guess we can move on to wherever you want to go. I don't know. We'll figure it out next episode, I suppose. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, please do continue to leave your support of the series if you do want to see this go on uh, much further. I imagine I'm going to probably try and get everything done eventually, uh, but there are some sticking points I can see happening in the future, and some of these bosses are a lot harder than others from my experience, uh, my limited experience. I've only seen, like, one other boss, I think. But anyway, leave me your support in the comments if you could, and I will catch you on the next one. So thank you again for watching, and I will see you later.